This is another story that came up recently, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about this. Um, this is published November the 16th, 2023. Kentucky State Police say they now know the name of a victim found in 1979. On Thursday, those with the Kentucky State Police in London, Kentucky, announced they have identified the remains linked to a cold case more than four decades old. The victim was identified as 25-year-old Michael Murray of Atlanta, Georgia. Murray's remains were found on Coon Club Road in Laurel County in 1979. And evidence from the scene has been with the Post 11 State Police since then. After 45 years, we were able to identify him, and hopefully his family can now get some peace. Public Affairs Officer for the Kentucky State Police, Scotty Pennington, says Post 11 was able to revisit the case through a case review and partnered with the FBI to get the remains identified. We've used Name Us to help us with the investigation. It's awesome. You can send DNA and fingerprints and hair samples to help solve cases that you couldn't solve before. Pennington says although Murray's death was confirmed to be a murder, they're still investigating regarding his death. We'll still try to investigate this and see if we can solve it. Remains found in Kentucky 45 years ago positively identified as an Atlanta, Georgia man. Officials added that they were able to identify the remains with the help of advanced fingerprint identification from the FBI. According to the investigation, Murray was believed to have been living in California around the time of his death. Authorities have not provided any details regarding where his remains were found. Well, now, in the other story, it said where his remains were found in Laurel County, Kentucky. So I'm trying to go back and look through missing persons reports about him to see, you know, before his remains were identified, what was his story. Murray was originally from Atlanta, Georgia, but was believed to have been living in California around the time of his death. Finding anything prior, who found his body, um, how was he murdered, I'm just, you know, it's like there's very little on here. Who reported him missing? Had he been reported missing, or did his family believe that he was in California and had just lost all contact with him over the years and had not been searching for him? Was he ever considered a missing person? They notified Next of Kin, announcing that the man was identified as Michael Murray, who was originally from Atlanta, Georgia but was believed to have been living in California. Well, how did he end up in a rural eastern Kentucky murdered? It seems to be this big, wide range of, of time that spanned when there's no information about him. Um, had, his, had anyone in his family reported him missing? Um, here's something from Atlanta News First. There's a photograph of him here. He was a black male. There's very little detail about him and who he was before, you know, what was going on in his life. If he had lost contact with his family. I'm going to come back and I'm going to continue to research and try to see what I can find on him his body having been found 40 years ago and now it's he's been identified it doesn't say anything about 
you know, maybe they don't know. Maybe his family had lost contact with him. Maybe he just wandered around. This was the 70s, and that was known to happen. The next story I want to talk about, and I wish I could have brought more about Michael Murray's story, but like I said, I will continue to look. This next story that I want to talk about, I covered this man's story previously in another video uh, about some missing people in Clay County, Kentucky. This is the story of Robert Bob Estep, who went missing December the 15th, 2020. His son told the local news that his father left to go hunting on a red ATV and was never seen again. Now, recently, that changed, and I wanted to come back and do a follow-up about him. The story is a man who went missing while hunting three years ago was found deceased underneath an ATV. This is dated November the 20th, 2023. An eastern Kentucky man who's been missing for nearly three years was found by hunters. On Friday, a hunter came across the body of 69-year-old Robert Estep off of Highway 149 in the Britton Branch area of Clay County. His body was underneath an ATV. Estep went missing while deer hunting in December of, two, of 2020. Foul play is not suspected. So there's really not a whole lot of detail about what may have happened to him. Um, probably some type of possibly maybe an injury of some kind or um, maybe some illness overtook him. It just says, after nearly three years, a Clay County hunter who went missing was found dead. Clay County coroner Joe Crockett said another hunter found Robert Estep lying under an ATV in a remote area. So it's very probable, it sounds like, that he probably flipped his ATV, maybe he went down an embankment and it landed on top of him. This is just my theory. Uh, they haven't said that was what happened, but it sounds like that might be a possibility. And I just wanted to do a little follow-up about that to let people know um, if they watched that video where I talked about him. Um, it, he was included in a, in a group of missing people. Thanks for watching.